Why does it? Why? No! Am I not allowed to cook? So, one of my wonderful Turbo patrons went out and gifted me a copy of Pal World on Steam. I've seen a lot of chatter online about this game, as it stirred up quite a bit of controversy. From what I've gathered, the concept is effectively, what if we took the Pokemon franchise, but made it edgy? You know, give them like, guns, and you can make them do forced labor, or kill them for food. On this channel, we try to play games as a vegan, and like, Pokemon itself? That's already one of the least vegan game concepts of all time. It's just magical dog fighting, but with all the more disturbing facets conveniently whitewashed to make things more palatable to a general audience. So the idea of playing a game that's just Pokemon, but where they instead front load the atrocity? All right, sure, let's give it a shot. Today I ask the question, can we play Pal World as a vegan? Alright, start game, create new world, world name, Halpagos Islands. Let's make it Pal Liberation Islands. Sure, that works. Wow, look at that, my name is already what I want it to be. It's like I obnoxiously renamed my Steam account. Okay, body type 1, type 2, hmm. Okay, we're vegan, so torso size, nothing. Arm size, nothing. Leg size, nothing. We are incapable of developing any body mass because we don't get enough protein. Alright, I've got a bit in mind. Our character here is going to be like a cis man, but I'm giving him body type 1, the more feminine choice, because we're going to play into the whole being feminized by soy meme. That concept, by the way, uh, conveniently ignores all the research and scientific evidence showing that phytoestrogens in soy bind more readily to beta estrogen receptors, which don't... Oh, that face is very smug. Oh, look, we can have hard eyes for little animals. Oh. Gotta go green. Um. I think I'm gonna go with this. Make our hair color some shade of green as well. Tone it down a bit. Hmm. So, I like that we're smug, but what if... Oh, what if we were pissed? I'm a party pooper, and I'm vegan. That's what we're going with. I like this look. You know, actually, I think we shouldn't be like super thin. We should be simultaneously like no muscle mass, yet bloated due to, I don't know, seed oils or whatever the current monster of the week is. Gotta look sickly and add just a dash of liver failure in there for good measure. Just need a voice and we're good. <laughs> I'm liking the woo woo voice. Okay, I think this is gonna be our character here. We do have what appear to be leather sandals. I'm just gonna invoke my normal exception about that. Here we go. This is I Am Vegan. Oh, this is a perfect way to wake up. See, I wouldn't have an angry face to them. Wait, I thought this was a Pokemon ripoff. This looks more like Breath of the Wild. I'm here! Oh, hello, little friend. Whoa, don't jump, don't jump. I just wanted to crouch. Hello, little buddy. How are you? Hello? Hello? You go on your little way, have a good time. Chicky pee. So this is Minecraft with guns and Pokemon, from what I've been told, which is basically just Minecraft with mods. Let's look for treasure. Coin, bread, small pie. Whoa, what the? A soul. Drop that. I don't want a soul. Okay, what's bread made from in this game? Baked flour. I'm gonna hold on to this until I learn what the game's crafting recipe for bread is. Can I mine? I'm assuming I can mine, right? It's the iron spider. It's poison in one bite. Okay, gonna try to build primitive workbench. Workload? Hmm. I found a strange device on the shore. It appears to be some... Yeah, I don't care. I feel like by turning around in the beginning, I ended up going the wrong way. We can also punch trees, I assume. Yeah. No workers aside. Mm. Oh, cool. We leveled up to two in technology points? 
Oh, we can unlock things. We've got pal box, facility for storing captured pal. Okay, well, we're not. That's the ball to capture pals. Fire, we'll make fire. Wooden chest, I'll, I'll make a wooden chest. Repair bench, I'll repair things. Structure set, let's get structuring, let's do this. Okay, I wanna chop trees that need wood and stone. Fiber, where's stone? Gold coin, bread, copper key, probably all good. There's definitely stone back up those stairs, right? Could I get back up here? Oh, you guys flapping? Oh crap, he's watching us. Act natural. Wait, I have stat points? Um, health, stamina. Oh, we can climb. I always max that out ASAP in Breath of the Wild. Mobility is key. For somebody I purposefully made look weak, we've got some really strong fists. All right, pickaxe. Probably should have made the wood axe first, TBH. Okay, this tutorial. Open the menu with escape. Check the survival guide. Cool. Open the technology screen from the menu and unlock PAL sphere. I mean, I guess we could unlock it. Yeah, just, just unlocking it is all right. Craft a sphere, eh, attack pal. Okay, we're definitely not doing that. Oh hell yeah, this is much more efficient. Haldium fragment, what is that? From the world tree, oh hell yeah, it comes from a tree that's plant-based. I mean, I can only assume the world tree is a plant, like, you know. We're mining and crafting it up right now. Okay, more items. Old bow, primitive long-range weapon, cool. Oh hey, look at that, we got arrows that aren't made with feathers. That's that's some good stuff, we like that. Shoddy bed, wood, fiber, and wool. No, no, ugh. Straw bed, Oh, I mean, so we can't sleep, but we can make a bed for the little pals. That's fine. And cloth, which requires wool, so we can't make armor. Great. Okay, we'll craft the pal sphere, even if we don't plan to use it. Build a pal box, the surrounding area will become our base. We have to unlock the pal box. We need wood, which I can cut. Sire, you are over encumbered. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Build pal box. Build wooden chest. Deploy work pal to what wait, work pal? I'm the work pal. Let's uh, put a point in work speed. Unlock, unlock, unlock. Access the pal box and summon a pal to your base. We don't have any pals and never should, ideally. We can do the wooden chest, though. I'm worried I'm already hitting a limit to what we can actually do in this game. Might as well go through our options. Let's make a campfire. Look at that. Select a recipe. Okay, bread is just flour, so that's fine and vegan. Let's make a little pal bed. Maybe we can get a little pal friend to visit who wants to take a little pal nap and a little pal bed. What about me? Can I sleep here? Can I take a little pal nap? What else? Ooh, we can make an actual ass house. The night is coming. The f*** is that? Mammarist. Okay, I'm using my powers of etymology here. Mammarist is obviously a combination of mammary and forest. It's some sort of breasted int. It is dark as hell down here. I should have brought a torch. That was the most blatantly Breath of the Wild ripoff sound I think I've ever heard in my life. Looks like the goddamn apocalypse. I'm even got an Idrisil over here. Okay, I found this far too late. Oh, I can warp back to the base? Sucks that we can't just wait it out till daytime. Oh, sh great. I'm freezing. Hurry up! Haha, -ha, there we go. Hello, Expedition Survivor. A castaway. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed- I don't like this phrasing. 
This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every- I Don't say it like that. Here, take some basic supplies. You'll need to toughen up if you want to survive out here. <laughs> you gave me wood, huh? <laughs> well, I guess we can walk around and look at- Tutorial options, what are they? Um, attack pals, no. Access the pal box and summon a pal. That'd require capturing them, so no. You just leveled up. Strengthen your- Okay, I can do that when I level up again. What are those? Hoocrates. Hmm. So, okay, so it's actually who crates, because what it means is a play on words referencing loot crates. It's like a subscription-based monthly curated box of owls delivered to your door, which wouldn't be vegan, by the way. Chicky P. See, that's just a chick pee. Which makes them the best named pal in the game. Ooh, berries. Hell yeah, let's go. Berry time. He's so sleepy. Hmm. Cativa. Okay, that's obviously a combination of cat and sativa. Weed cat. Berry seeds. Hello. Just gotta be level five. Okay, we can actually do this one. I think we can start farming. No. Nope. Release the soul. Release the soul. So I guess our goal now is just to be level five and start a farm. Ooh, fancy rock. It's ore. I imagine we can make metal tools at some point. Yeah, get it, buddy. Hammer that air. Weapon is damaged. How do I repair it? I probably build a repair bench. Oh wait, you know what? I could cook these berries. Okay, make a campfire again. Need more wood. God, that's terrifying. Okay, common shield. Oh, I can make a common shield. Feed box? Ooh, I'll make this. Just not sure if I can actually use it. It'd be cool if I could like make berries and give them out to pals. I can make a spear. Can't make armor. Wait, don't get distracted. Make the campfire. Cook your berries. Cooking enhances their nutritional value, and surprisingly, they are quite filling. Sweet! So, whoa, 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 what the f was that? Oh god, I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Need water. Okay, it went out. Now, what was that? Why does it... Why... What? I did... No! I did... Why does it put eggs and meat in my f***ing pan? I don't want to do that. Am I not allowed to cook? <sighs> I just gotta get to level five. Lamb ball, okay, that one is too obvious. There's no way you can misinterpret this one. It's um, <laughs> it's uh, Christopher Lambert from Highlander and a ball. <laughs> Capture five lamb balls, no. I don't want to do that. Okay, so technically I did cook one of these berries, but because I made it with the meat and whatever, I'm gonna discard it for safety's sake. We're going extra hardcore today. We're gonna be one of those weird raw vegans. Daydream. That's a combination of Daedra and Reem. So, Mafala, Daedric Prince of Sex, Murder, and Secrets. All right, let's shield it up. Wait, so we can actively build. We have a sh we can like build structures beneath our feet. We have a shield. This is basically just Fortnite with Pokemon. I, I don't really know. I've never played Fortnite. See, I admit that on some level I enjoy games like this, but MMO gameplay loops and the proliferation of crafting mechanics truly, truly did irreversible damage to single player experiences. There's an egg. You can tell these little pals don't have natural predators because they sleep soundly even when you walk up to them and they just lay their eggs out in the open like this. Those are not great evolutionary strategies. Is that your egg? Did you lay that? Oh, this game is really cute when you just walk around saying hello to animals. Oh, Pingullet. Hi, where are you going? Okay, Pingullet. Um, that's a combination of pin and Okay, this is a tricky one because you're probably thinking that it's a combination of penguin and bullet, but it's actually a combination of and gullet. Pingolet, the Pokemon. 
Sorry, that was disgusting. I've got the sense of humor of an emotionally stunted 12 year old. Gumos. Okay, so this is actually a combination of the Harmony Corinne film, Gummo, and Boss. Oh, did I scare you? I'm so sorry. King of the forest, Mamorist. See, I, I don't agree with feudal monarchy, but you're you're a big cutie, Mamorist. You really are. You're so cute. Kremis. This is a combination of criminal and premise, because this game is a is a criminal premise. <laughs> And by, and by that, I mean from a creativity standpoint. Hey, buddy. Can I drop? Oh, hello. Take one and drop. Look, it's a berry for my little friend. Hey, I got the technology point. Ooh, Fox Parks. That's a combination of uh, Fox Parks. Fox Parks, no. Is that going to kill you, buddy? Can you even swim? I know Charmander lore in Pokemon, and if yours is anywhere near the same, that's... This isn't a good move. Good luck, champ. Hello, skilled islander. Your new face. Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on this island, why not try and catch some pa- Okay, no, fuck you. You know what they say. Pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Who is they? Who says that? What's this? Oh, God. Oh, oh. Where was this? Where is it? Key item? Okay, I guess that's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, Fox Parks is a combination of Fox and Sparks. Sorry, I can't come up with a clever enough to come up with a purposeful misinterpretation of this one. There's a big ol' egg. No pal souls, stop it. Who is collecting these things and putting them in storage like this? Oh wow, you just slept underwater. Charmander ain't sh compared to Fox Parks over here. I'm so tired. I tried making graves for everyone at first, but then more than a hundred died. Dude, what the f A hundred allies died. This place is like totally benign. Just don't attack the cute animals and you'll be fine, dumbass. Okay, I'm gonna venture ahead. She did mention something about the syndicate at the tower ahead. I need some defenses. Melpaca. Melpaca is a combination of, well, alpaca, obviously, but um, also Mel from Frasier, because she's quite coquettish. Level five. We can make that berry plantation now. I don't like the phrase plantation. Can't make any of this. Cloth isn't vegan in this game. Flame organ? Jesus, dude, do I gotta cut out their organs? Another warp point. Neat. Dumb Jim. There's her tower. Leather. <laughs> Syndicate thug? Oh god, okay, I'm probably not ready for a boss fight. Oh shit, is that combat? Wait, are they hurting pals? Hey! You Get his ass. Did I finally find my purpose? Can I just go around and kill all these animal abusers? Oh, was he dead? Oh, I want to free this one. Come on out, little guy. Be free, buddy. <laughs> what? Captured? What? Did you... <laughs> what? No. Did I just kill him and take his organs? <laughs> Don't... Don't attack? How, how do I... Dr drop! Drop! How do I... How do I release a pal? How do I release a pal? Command pal? Oh, God. You can't? Spark it, I'm so sorry. Drop? <gasps> what have I done? Was there no way to deal with this without imprisoning the little fella? No! I failed! I captured a pal! It was the one thing I didn't want to happen! Ah! Hey there! I'd like to give a shout out to my cool as hell patrons over at patreon.com forward slash poor dots, as well as an extra cool shout out to my turbo patrons. Ben B, Blurk Plimpton, Condensed Metaphysicist, Cyan and Orange, Jade Tigers Typing, Kira the Diamond Dog, Malacandra, Mazakine Maze, Mr. Floyd, Olive, Patrick Collins, Sour Pears, and Variable Gear. Thank you all so very much, and thank you everyone for watching.